My name is Tony Shaw and I'm a stained glass mosaic artist. I have been creating mosaics for about, probably about 19 years. And um, most people, when they think of mosaics, they think of like ancient Rome or ancient Greece, but mosaics are actually quite contemporary and the pieces that I do are for, are for the home, for wall hangings, I have stepping stones, I make faces, as well as um, tabletop panels. I also make candles, I've, I'm new to candles, making candles about three years, and my candles are a vegan blend of coconut and soy wax, and they're amazingly scented candles. You will know they're burning. And I've been, um, again, doing that for about three years, mainly at my local farmer's market. I make mosaics mainly because it's, um, it's my, my art form. When I first started making mosaics about, like I said, 19, 20 years ago, I didn't consider myself an artist, and I just happened to take a class through the Learning Annex. So for your, your older audience, they'll remember the Learning Annex. And I fell in love with it. And so it's my way of uh, bringing beauty and nature into the home. And um, honestly, it's for anyone. I uh, hope to maybe um, have a few shows this, this year and get my artwork out there. Uh, I've really been sort of focused on the candles, but I, I want to turn more towards the artwork and uh, hopefully, um, you know, have people embrace it. Um, and not to say that I haven't sold any pieces, but definitely to have more people exposed to it and what modern mosaics look like. You know, I got into mosaics about 20 years ago, quite by happenstance. Um, my kids are 18 months apart. So I think they were roughly uh, maybe one and two. And I just needed to get out the house. I needed some adult company. And so I took a class, uh, again, through the learning annex, which was sort of like, uh, what are the, like, uh, on, like the online, like horse horse and the things that we have now. And um, I just fell in love with it. I made a, a, a little rose. It barely looks like a rose, but um, I liked the fact that I could take something broken and turn it into something new. And so, uh, yeah, my journey into mosaics was quite um, by accident, but um, uh, I've enjoyed doing it ever since. So I chose mosaics versus uh, other art forms because I can't really draw. So um, I don't think anyone would be interested in my, uh, my drawing or any paintings. But with mosaics, I can take a pattern that I can create or I work with a company that helps me create my patterns and I can turn it into a work of art. So for me, it was the medium that best fit my skills. I do plan on taking more art classes and who knows, maybe I'm a hidden uh, Picasso in there. But um, right now, uh, I love it. I just love being able to break the glass um, and turn it into something brand new. So I started my, my education in mosaics at the Learning Annex. It was just a one night class and um, I still have my first piece. And I, when I teach classes, I share that piece with uh, my students. And then I show them my second piece. So again, I fell in love with it. So my next step then was to then buy mosaic books. I bought um, tools, I bought a mosaic grinder. And so my second piece looks night and day um, different from my first piece. Um, so I would say probably for since I started and maybe about 10 years after that, I was pretty much self-taught. But then I've discovered some mosaic schools throughout um, California. Uh, my first class was at the Institute of Mosaic Art in Oakland, where I took a uh, architectural mosaic class. And then I discovered that we have a mosaic um, school in Santa Monica. So I've taken several classes through them, including um, mosaics as well as other classes. And why do I keep doing it? Um, it's because I, it's just for me, it's a good um, way to relax. It's a good way for me to think of something other than work or it's, it's my downtime, if you will. And so I come out to my workshop, which is my garage and um, turn on my favorite music, have that blasting, or sometimes I listen to um, 
books on CD or sometimes I'm listening to TV, some of my favorite shows that I don't get to catch otherwise. And so for me, it's, it's a, a great way to relax and just have some time for myself. And then also to create a lot of the pieces that I've made, um, I have, they haven't had a, uh, an immediate home. Maybe they've sold at a later point, but um, for me, it's just the, the process of creating is relaxing. And I like to know that at some point that piece um, may be in somebody else's home. So the way that I get inspiration is um, probably multiple ways. You know, sometimes just driving through nature and I'm seeing flowers and we had our beautiful super bloom due to the rain here in LA and, and uh, California. Um, sometimes I have uh, themes that I'm working on. So I just completed a mosaic of Lena Horne, who when I was a child, I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. And so I want to do, uh, she's going to be part of my jazz uh, collection. So the other images in that collection will be the incomparable Ella Fitzgerald, um, Hazel Scott, and I want to include Nina Simone in there as well. And so, you know, sometimes I, I'll think of some, some themes that I want to work on. Um, I want my work to positively represent black women, so I plan on doing a lot more images, um, both portraits and maybe abstract as well of black women, because I don't think we see enough of that in the media. I think we're inundated with negative stereotypes about black women and um, certainly not talking about our beauty. Um, so that will certainly be uh, something I want to focus on with my artwork. And then uh, lastly, you know, I'm inspired by, um, you know, current events. I'm working on several pieces uh, in memoriam to um, Nipsey Hussle, who, whose store is right around the corner from my house. And uh, while I never got a chance to meet him, uh, I certainly had planned or hoped to work with him uh, during the Destination Crenshaw um, process, which is happening in the Crenshaw Corridor. I had submitted to be an artist, and I know he was an integral part of that endeavor. So um, his death hit you know, my household uh, very hard. Um, my kids were fans. They had been to a store. And the more I learned about him, I could only respect what he was doing in our community. So I have several pieces. Uh, in fact, I'm working on the first now that will honor um, Nipsey Hussle. So um, those are, you know, some of the reasons or the things that inspire me. And um, I also do commissions as well. So I've had um, some very fun uh, commission work. My goal this year is really to get my artwork out to the public. I will say that I participated in a couple of um, juried art events where I was trying to get my artwork judged. And mainly it was in the stained glass uh, art world. So it was not really to um, the general public, but that is definitely one of my goals this year. I'm hoping to participate in at least two shows. I don't have them selected yet, but um, I'm currently working on pieces so that I would have um, something to show. Uh, in the meantime, for people that are interested in seeing my work, uh, I do have uh, my biggest piece to date is at the uh, brand new Baldwin Hills Kaiser Permanente Medical Center, which is right here in the heart of South LA at the corners of Crenshaw and King Boulevard. And that piece I'm so proud of um, is entitled Soaring Over South Los Angeles, and it features a lot of our um, historic events like the Coliseum, like the Vision Theater in Leimert Park, like the um, Macy's Building at the um, Baldwin Hills Mall, and our wonderful palm trees. We have a ton of palm trees in South LA. And I just really wanted to pay tribute to the beauty here in South LA because so many times I find that our neighborhood is stigmatized, or my neighborhood. And so um, anyone who wants to see uh, one of my biggest and best pieces to date can head over to that Kaiser Permanente Monday through Friday. It's on the ground floor. So the image behind me is of uh, Miss Lena Horn. Um, she will be the first image in my jazz themed uh, collection which will include three other pieces. And uh, as everyone knows she uh, was a civil rights leader and an icon in the black community. And as a young girl growing up I just thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world and so uh, I wanted to start with her and honor her and her legacy. And so I'm very excited because um, this piece has actually been on my board for maybe about two years. And so I was finally able to wrap it up this year and I've just gotten it framed. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of the collection turns out. 
When I think about where I am as an artist, uh, I definitely want to try some different things. I am interested in taking more classes. There are some uh, abstract art classes that I want to take, and these are specifically for mosaics. Um, there's a mosaic, a mosaic portraiture class I'm interested in taking. I'm interested in doing more 3D work, so I'm thinking about some garden gaze balls, as well as some, maybe some mosaic totems for the yard, as well as some uh, mosaic uh, busts or torsos uh, that would be uh, for the yard, and maybe some that are light enough to hang inside the home. So I'm definitely not at the zenith of where I want to be as an artist, but I'm excited at where I am because I think um, the pieces that I create now represent the 20 years that I've um, put into my mosaic um, education. And I've had really great uh, responses from the pieces that I've created to date. And I just, you know, for me in anything in, or any area of my life, um, you never stop learning. So as a mosaic artist, I'm looking forward to um, taking more classes, working with more artists in my community, which I've, I've met a few now, and potentially collaborating on some pieces, and just growing. When I think about Tony, the artist, I think about someone who's committed to her community. I think about someone who is very much interested in putting out images of positive, beautiful black women strong, intelligent black women, women who have changed the world and who deserve the recognition for that. And that's what I hope people get from my artwork. I hope um, the images move them. I hope the techniques move them. Because for me, it's a way of, of sharing my black heritage with the world. Um, it's also my way of relaxa relaxing. It's my uh, way of just finding inner peace and sort of my um, way to come back to myself after you know a long busy day. Um, I cherish the time here in my studio and I hope that the work that I produce is um, seen by a lot of people and I hope that it brings if nothing else a smile to people's faces.